Welcome to the BTS video for Carnivore, which will be submitted to the Light This Location film competition. This short horror film was filmed in Acacia Ridge at night time in one location. During this film we've used three lights, two 672C LED lighting panels and also one of these. Now the 672C lighting panels are just magnificent. They produce such great quality light that's so easy to match in camera and so easy to edit in post. Unfortunately, the same thing cannot be said about this little disaster of a light. Sure, it throws out light and it works okay at night time, but my word, how hard was it to match colors with this to the aperture in post? My advice, and if I did this again, I would go out and buy a small aperture light that mounts on the top of the camera, and that way I would have saved so much grief. Anyhow, lesson learned. Use aperture across the board. Okay, so I hope you like our little horror film. Shot A is a tracking shot with a light on top of the camera from within the tree line. It is an FPV shot from the perspective of the creature. So we used a light on top of the camera so that we would obviously be able to illuminate, track and follow the actor and get the actor in a little bit of light. I have tracked the actor with the light and the camera across from within the tree line until we did the extreme close up on the branch which was dripping with fake blood. This obviously was an extreme close-up and the light on top of the camera was used as the priority for this shot. Shot B.1 has a light source behind us and a very gentle, soft, diffused light coming from the right-hand side of the actor and camera. So Ethan, the actor, tracked towards the animals, turned his back and obviously looked up to where the creature was. He then turned around and that leads us into shot B.2, where the actor swings and turns around and runs towards the primary light along the path. And the left-hand side light, obviously, is very gentle and basically not even really used and seen in this shot, except for just a flash of light when Ethan turns around and starts to run away. We also changed the lighting temperature from a very blue colour to a more natural style. The rationale for this is so that we could see the creature's hand a lot better and really accentuate the colour of the blood. While we did have a very soft, diffused light coming from over the left-hand side of the camera, most of the light seen in this is from the little light screwed into the hot shoe on top of the camera. This was shot at quarter speed so that we could then speed it up. We did this so it was safe to grab the actor and fling him on the ground. <gasps> For shot D, we had a light up in the air tilted down so that we could illuminate the top of Ethan's head and the grass and ground around him. We wanted that to be very soft and very gentle because as we lifted the camera and the light on top of the camera, we would then start to lose light and it would fade away. We tried our best, had fun, and I hope you enjoy it. Kudos to Ben, who spent all day sitting there for Onana Sutherland, a great makeup artist. And uh, yeah, he looks like a monster. So I hope you enjoy the film. 